nine, and yeah, we're recording everywhere now on UStream and Fraps. So we'll have 1080p video of uh, your score screen while we talk. <clears throat> so uh, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody? Someone says Chef sounds hot already, so that means <laughs> they can hear you. Oh uh, sure, man. I'm named Sean Simon. That's my name, and. Uh, StarCraft two player professionally now. It's it's my it's my money that I'm getting, and I'm just uh, doing my best to attend lands now. So I moved out, and uh, I have a lovely team FXO that's going to support me. So I'm very happy. Can that's you, pretty much me. Can you tell us more about FX Open? A lot of people don't know much about it. Sure, it's uh, the fourth largest online brokerage. Uh, it's like money trading. But basically, our team right now is myself, Moonglade, Optic Zero. Filthy and Moonan, who's also all about you, and all about you is on like a one month uh, tryout thing. Okay. And hopefully, you guys will hear more from us in the future. But uh, still, a fairly new team. Wait, so Moonan is all about you? Yep, I didn't know that. Moonan just won a, a craft cup or something. No, he won a uh -huh. VT Open, I think. VT yep. Gaming Open. Yeah, first place. Nice. Okay, I was wondering who that was. I saw you streaming playing against him. <laughs> I was like, who the hell is this Moonan guy? And how is he winning stuff already? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's him. All right. Um, let's see. What else should we talk about? So you did just say you're going to try your best to attend lands. I know MLG Dallas. You told some people that you had a plane ticket. I did have a plane ticket. <laughs> well, so what happened there? <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it on stream. Okay. okay. But uh, suffice to say that my parents wouldn't have allowed it, and now I moved out. So draw your own conclusions, I guess. Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's good that you're living your dreams. Okay, so <laughs> now let's talk about uh, tonight's games, why don't we? I saw game Oof. one. Uh, you sort of blew my mind, and I think you blew Tyler's mind. He probably wasn't expecting you to steamroll him the way you did. Um, <laughs> what did I do on game one? I'm you, sorry, I'm just You just slow. went Speedlings first, then Roach Warren, then you know, crushed him. What map was it? It was uh, Zelnaga Caverns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a fun game. That was a fun game. You had a hidden base over on the right side. He never saw it. Yep, that's that's my new strategy on that map. So I like taking that area because I can kind of spread creep over to there pretty easy, and they don't really expect it. So it's nice. Someone in the chat says, seven game series is a steamroll? No, I'm talking about game one where Chef had double <laughs> the workers and double the army and a hidden base. That was it a was not a steamroll by any means. That first game was very one-sided. But then the second game, it looked like he tried... To do the exact same thing, and what what map was that? That was uh, LT Lost Temple. Yes, yes. Yeah. How did that went pretty much the same way? Except he got all the way to your natural that time, and you pinned him against his own force fields with roaches on either side, and basically killed his whole army. And then he got and then he disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to make a heart out of my overlords, but I, I, I'll admit it looked like a good game. Yeah, the, the first that. set did look like a G, but I was so not, confused. I, like you're gonna, I'm see not the used mods. to it. It's just it's so weird that someone leaves in the middle of a show match and or doesn't good game when there's one building left and you can see it. Yeah, been, I didn't know what the hell was happening. I thought maybe he whispered you something, and you guys no. were just dicking with me. But <laughs> no, I was I was just responding to his bad manner with I guess my own version of it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he told me after the game that he had to get up, so I won't. Oh, uh, that's what it was. Yeah. Well, then my my apologies, Noni. I thought it was just uh, being rude. Yeah, we didn't. Very I I I didn't know what was going on either. So I mean, he he whispered me after he did GG and we we left the game. He told me he had uh, to get up. He, he didn't tell me anything, so I was like, oh. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Well, uh, I didn't know if he was playing mind games with you or what. Like, yeah, you got to kill everything, <laughs> buddy. I'm not dead. Don't, Don't know. you know the rules of StarCraft 2? But um, <laughs> this this pylon's gonna beat you. Yeah. Just watch. <laughs> he had an observer too. I mean, he could have <laughs> done something. Indeed. But um, Indeed. <laughs> so game three, that was let's see, he chose Metalopolis. No. No. Uh. Or wait. Forgated. He forgated you on some map. Delta Quadrant. Yeah, Delta Quadrant. I think yeah, was Delta game Quadrant. Three, maybe. What happened there? That was the only forgate he even tried, and it it worked very well for him. Yeah, I I wasn't really expecting it. I went roaches at an awkward time. Delta Quadrant so very close and so wide open of a natural. You can't really use spine crawlers, which is how I normally like to defend that. Mm -hmm. So it's just a difficult situation to be if you don't catch it early enough, which I, I really didn't. Man, okay, so I'm starting to get some questions. Uh, okay. I was wondering... Oh, wait, it's not. 
a question. Uh, Icy Cup Angel of Death says, ask Chef how he got so handsome. <laughs> Hi, Angel of Death. I actually remember you fairly well from Brood War. I was chosen, if you remember. <laughs> um, I believed you played for like a Peruvian team. Not sure exactly which one. I can't think of it. But yeah, I don't know. It's I, I'm uh, I just practice a lot, I guess. <laughs> ah. Probably, probably it, the practice. I think. Oh, do you want to do you want to <laughs> tell people about your stream a little bit? Oh well, I stream on Justin TV uh, slash FXO Chef. And I uh, try and stream in the mornings, Eastern time. So that's my, kind of my best time to stream. And then just do whatever. It's been pretty nice, though. It's, it's fun to stream and talk to all these people. Some really cool people there have been really helpful, like uh, Polish Cheese and Dutch Pride and Run. and I, I could just name people forever, seriously. Those are just the three that come to the top of my head because they're all like, good job, Chef, you won. <laughs> We're proud of you. <laughs> they're very supportive. <laughs> so, that's good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, well... Uh, next question is going to be from me. No, wait. Uh, I just want to say I, I watch your stream every time I see it on on Team Liquid. Oh, thank and, you. And uh, a lot of people um, give you positive criticism because you actually interact with your chat, and people don't just want to see a silent person play, you know, game after game after game without any interaction. So that's that's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to talk to them all the time whenever I can. It's just fun to interact for me. And I'm always just saying whatever I think, so it's fun. Okay, uh, here's a question from the chat. Do you always speedling expand in ZVP, or is it just something you prepared for Tyler? I always speedling expand. That's pretty much it. <laughs> in ZVP or both matchups, or all matchups? Oh, in, in, in just ZVP. Okay. ZVP is the only matchup I do that sort of builds. Okay. It's very specific. It's, it's just like I want to do damage with those firstlings, and then uh, just drone up as hard as I can. In, uh, it's kind of interesting. Once I got up 3-1... It's kind of weird. Like, if you ever watch football, of course. you know how, like, teams will start, like, a, a prevent defense? Like, where they're just, like, really defensive. They don't want to make any mistakes. So they let the team, you know, get, like, a few things, but they just stay in the right. game. I think that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> like, I was like, I'll just be extremely safe. And then, you know, he would do this build that would just, like, crush the extremely safe first. I'm like, darn it. <laughs> oh, well, I have another try. I'm preventing yeah. him, you know, but... <laughs> So that's something I got to work on, I think. Okay, so yeah, let's let's get back into. We only got all the way through Delta Quadrant there. That was only game three. So uh, after that was Metalopolis. That was a crazy game. He had Void Rays and Phoenixes up, and you were just throwing yeah. units at him, hoping that he wouldn't return to your base. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> exactly. It's like you got to defend, Oni. You got to defend. Oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> Let me build queens and spore crawlers really yeah, quickly. Yeah, I saw. He gave you so much time though. Like while you were throwing speedlings and roaches, and he was building a forge and a pylon, trying to keep your speedlings out. Did you notice yeah. his phoenixes were just sitting overhead, like doing yep, nothing? I did. So I was very happy. Yeah, with that. I commented on the very stream. Happy. I was like, you know, that's so much dead time. He could just be murder, uh, murdering overlords. You know, lifting queens. Yeah. And, they just they just yep. sat there. It kind of made me sad, but um, you managed to actually hold him off long enough. Actually, incorporated four queens into your final push, and those transfusions uh, throughout the series were all pretty spot on. Good stuff. So uh, thanks. Yeah, I had fun. I love using those queens. Just I kept transfusing whatever one he would pick up, like just constantly. It's pretty fun. Um, do, 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 do. Those hydras were having like a, a roller coaster ride. They're like, wee transfusions, <laughs> wee fall <laughs> yeah. down. They never know when death will come. <laughs> But um, <laughs> oh, uh, should we talk about our Star Jeweled game? Maybe later. Um, <laughs> uh, after Lost Temple, no, after Metalopolis. Sorry, still trying to put game by game. Shakira's Plateau was next. Yes, I think so. And that was like a heartbreaker to watch because Tyler, whether whether he knew it or not, his timing to move through the middle of the map was so perfect. Like he had, I don't yeah. believe he saw you in the bottom left uh, spawn trying to break down those rocks at all. So, I mean, it yeah. was pretty immaculate timing that you just started to march through with all those Colossi and Stalkers. And, of course, force fields, when you have Stalkers, Sentries, and Colossi, all those force fields just dominate everything. Zerg can't do anything. I saw you did get a Spire up. Um, did you even manage to get, like, a single Corruptor or Muta out? No. I saw he uh, he had two Phoenixes just trying to pester that Overlord, so I figured he was trying to fake me into going Hydras. So I threw down the spire, but it's, I I just didn't have enough minerals. I was I was too far behind from my early pressure that failed badly. Yeah, this I mean you had you had a good size force. It just got cut up so so tiny that you can't. Really yeah, it's the plight of non-Protoss races. But um, 
<laughs> then we had Scrap Station, which you chose because you couldn't replay Metal. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really like Metal, Zelnaga, LT. I like all of the, the TSL3 mm -hmm. maps a lot, and I practiced them mm -hmm. a lot. So I was just like kind of off with, with all the ones that aren't well, TSL Well, you know, that's, maps. that kind of worked in your favor, too, because I don't believe Tyler plays them that much, either. Um, yeah. Scrap Station, yeah. he did actually revert back to the build that he lost with on the first two maps. So I thought that was kind of a gamble, but then he actually did manage to uh, eventually slip through the middle. No, wait, no, wait. Scrap Station is when he went 5-gate off of 2-base. So he went TT1-style yeah. balls-to-the-wall yeah. kind of aggression. I knew it was coming, and I just I couldn't... I don't know. I think I, I think I get, let my units get cut out too much in the open, but I, I didn't want to get force-fielded like in my base. Like If he would have just cut me off right. halfway and then went into my base or cut my main off, and I was like... I have to attack, but I know it's not mm -hmm. going to work. And, and force field's basically one in that game as well, in my opinion. Like, force fielding your ramp while yeah. he was taking out your natural and just keeping all the lings out was pretty crazy. He didn't know about the gold. Like, yeah. his hallucinated phoenix was headed there and yeah. timed out, like, right before it got to the gold, so he just attacked instead. <laughs> but, yeah. um, and then the final map was Blistering Sands, and you made him WTF several times. Um, I think it's because he didn't expect six thousand speedlings constantly attacking both sides. I, I don't, I don't know why he was talking. It's, it's weird. <laughs> it, it, it throws you off, doesn't it? You see him typing, and you're just like, "Oh God, should I hold back?" He said, "WTF?" I don't want to well, confuse him. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I was, I thought I was dead one hundred percent that game when he when he With went the into my main and did so much damage. <laughs> And then my queen micro failed so epically, and they just ran into the zealots and the stalkers. Like no, and then somehow I managed to come back and and do okay and win that game. It's it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it was very entertaining to watch because um, I commented a, a couple of times that I wish I had picture in picture because Tyler would be moving through the <laughs> middle, getting surrounded by roaches, and you'd have speedlings killing every single probe he owned. Do you do you, do you know why he said GG 3D graphics at the end? Um, he tried to make a pylon wall, okay. and there was this little uh, tiny space <laughs> that, that my zergling could get into. I saw the pylons, into. but it looked like a big hole to me. I don't know. Maybe that's just observer's clarity. And then he he probably wasn't very happy when like he would try to zealot stop my lings. Like he'd put two on his little area, and my lings would just kind of run around it. I didn't even think my lings would be able to get through, to be honest, but they managed it. Those lings are like, we got this, Jeff. We got this. <laughs> well, at least... Tyler has a scapegoat for Game 7. But um, <laughs> now we're starting to get some better questions out of chat. So someone says, what is the strategy you hate the most? And I guess what he's meaning is, what strategy do you hate facing against Protoss? I hate playing 4-gate. I hate playing any sort of 6-gate timing push. Um, on certain maps, it's more more painful. Like on Scrap Station, that 6-gate's really strong. And on... Uh, <laughs> Delta Protoss can do anything, and it's pretty strong. Anything rush-wise, yeah. at least, because of the close distances. And spine crawlers can be tough to get up in time and tough to use effectively. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh, next, we have a question, a very specific one, it seems. When you're fighting Colossi and Void Rays, and you have Corruptors out, let's say he's got three Colossi, four Void Rays, and you have seven Corruptors. Okay. So small numbers. Do you target yeah. the Void Rays first or the Colossi and why? Um, my goal is to get enough uh, Brew Lords that they can kill anything very quickly. Uh, what I actually target first are generally the Colossus if there's a huge amount of them. Once I can get it down to a, a more manageable level, then I can attack the Void Rays. But I want to just be able to basically tear through everything with my flying units and then just kind of run back with whatever I have left over and just repop mm -hmm. that army. Well, I've kind of taken out all of his really hard to make units like the Voider and the Colossus, and I'll, I'll still have those few corruptors left that manage to run away as well for like whatever else he makes. So that's like if they try and do a 200 200 ball, that's it at least. If they do some sort of like timing attack with that, then I I really just like mass Roach Hydra to deal with it before the 200 max gotcha. basically. And I saw another question. Uh, on the last game, did you see the Void Rays when you were building Queens? I mean, I saw, you saw a Stargate. No, no, I didn't. I was just being as defensive as I possibly could. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want to die. <laughs> and I, I figured there was some sort of cheese coming my way 
just by on the timing of like he delayed his nexus and on that map even if you try and do a nexus like i can kill those back rocks with roaches and it's very hard to hold a nexus first or a nexus like three gate expansion on that map so i figured either a four gate five gates or I, I didn't even think of stargate to be honest i thought it would be a bad opening against what i had because i had those queens but it turned out it worked pretty well i just i, I wasn't quite I didn't quite have enough to stop it as well. well as Tyler actually was really passive about his scouting. Um, I think because, yeah, well, actually I have no idea why, but he he got hallucinated phoenixes like three or four times uh, throughout the series. But then after that, just he made you know I think he had an observer in your base once or twice, but it was very passive scouting, and I think it came back to bite him a little bit. But um, there's no way I I don't think he knew that you had a third queen. Um, when he started making void rays, like I don't know that he knew all that, but uh, uh, Chef, do you think that Zerg is currently underpowered? I've been hearing a lot of it recently, and I wanted to know your opinion. Um, it's not really something I really want to get into again on stream. I will say that I I think Terran Marines need to be slightly nerfed. I'll, I'll say that much. Okay, Marines need to be nerfed. I I actually agree with that too. I mean, you can watch the GSL and see Marine King later tonight. In just a couple hours playing in the finals, but all he does is build marines, like eighty percent of the games, and he wins against everything. It's crazy. Like mass marine beats mass marine tank. Even it's it's stupid. It's pretty stupid to be honest. Um, okay, so it's you have stupid. a question. Any tips for mass gaming or practicing? I get burned out earlier than I would like. How can you keep it up? Do you have do you have a, a ritual or I don't know some energy snack that you had? I don't know. <laughs> well, well, right now I, I live by myself and this is my job, so that motivates me enough that I have to play it to remain self-sustaining. And then right now <laughs> I'm out of water, so I'm having to drink beer to keep sustenance. <laughs> so that makes it even Hooray. funner to play StarCraft. I'm sure you, you guys know if you just keep drinking beer instead of water, everything gets funner. That's so a, I mean, that's a good try. Quote. That I guess drink beer instead of water, everything gets funner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's true. Uh, what do you fear the most when facing Protoss? I know you already answered um, rush sort of strategies, four gates or six gate timing. So I fear uh, Kiwi Kiki. You, you I fear say him as Kiwi well. Kiki and not Kiwi Kaki, like ninety eight percent of the population. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just do. What what single <laughs> unit of Protoss is is your most hated? Like Dark Templar, Mothership, really? Mothership. Because of Kiwi Kaki? Mothership. Yep. <laughs> yep. I, I won't even go into his build, but he has, it, he has a new one. It's it. He has a new one that I, I don't think people have seen. At least that he. I don't think they've sh he's shown. With the Mothership. It's pretty ridiculous. Well, yeah, it's different. Yeah, than, I was gonna like, say Link stalkers or it's stalker been stalkers. Yeah, so he, I cast a uh, Kiwi Kaki versus Maro on Lost Temple, where he he blink stalked oh, up game. into Maro's main, and then just mastery called out after he t uh, focused tech buildings, and then against TLO, he just did vortexes. Never had to use mastery call. TLO basically attacked him until he had to GG. He ran out of resources. Yeah. So I mean, Kiwi yep. Kaki and Mothership pretty much go hand in hand. Uh, what about not Kiwi Kaki? Would it be Sentries, DTs, Phoenixes? Like, what what unit makes your I, I, your heart sink? Is there one, <laughs> or are you just like screw Protoss? I'm gonna I, win every game. It doesn't matter. I don't really find that there's any one unit that bothers me that much. I mean, uh, may, maybe Stalkers blinked properly yeah. are kind of scary, but. I don't know. That doesn't bother me that much. I'm kind of working on dealing with that with like Hydraling okay. and Fester. But uh, I don't know. What 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 unit do you fear? That's, that's um, probably DTs. I know a lot of pros actually still don't make detection. Like in PvP, DTs can really yeah. screw you up. In um, PvT, Terran, if they, I don't know. Pain user always complains about Dark Templar, but really you should be having more turrets and scans if he's that worried about it. But somebody asks, how do you deal with a mothership? And I would just say corruptors, but you're the Zerg player. Yeah, I'm, I don't worry. Well, you, you can't do corruptors against the mothership, as weird as it is, because he'll just uh, mm -hmm. vortex them. And you're like, oh, yay, my corruptors are gone. That was fun. <laughs> I don't know. At least that's my opinion uh, on Someone asks if you are considering switching races. 
Nope. Nope. I remember there was a rumor you might switch to Terran like a million months ago. I don't know why you would ask that. Yep. Are there any players you want to play against really badly? Anyone but Picklick. <laughs> all you all you people are like, Picklick's great, you'll no. have great games. No. You're gonna see me get cannon rushed seven games, possibly. And I'm just gonna sit there and make roaches or try and break his cannon rush every single game. Do you really wanna see that? <laughs> I can play versus a computer that someone invents and they'll cannon rush me just as good as Picklick will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm impassioned about that because, okay, he has a great macro. Okay, he has this. He cheeses every single game. I don't care. It's it's like the Protoss version of Action <laughs> Jesus, only like he does it with with something that's actually kind of hard to deal with on certain maps. <laughs> I don't know. That, that, that's my little uh, rant. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> rant. Yeah, I kind of want to fish up a Sorry. good European player for you, but. Then the the what server do you play on becomes an issue, and I don't want to screw with that. So it'll probably be a North American. Just just a heads up. Picklick is actually okay. like Swedish. I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh good. Whew. I thought he was Korean. Yeah, I've never really seen him say a word in any like, game. Like no GLF, HF, or no GGs. He told me, "I give you something." <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the only word he's ever spoken to me. I, I give you well, something. Well, I will tell you I'm probably going to try and avoid a mirror match. Uh, I've got a couple people in mind. Okay. You just said you fear Kiwi Khaki, so... <laughs> Not saying I'm going <laughs> to gonna get him, but um, I'm Those I'm would sure be interesting be games, I'm sure, if you can get him. Kiwi might play for 100 bucks. I don't know. He's, kinda, he's still kind of, like, picky about what he plays in. But, um... I don't know. I guess um, unless chat has any more questions, you guys better spit them out now. Uh, what did Picklick give you? <laughs> no. Nothing. He tried to give me cannons, and I denied it and won the game. Thank you, Picklick. I <laughs> gave me points. Three ladder points. Someone asks what rating you are. I believe you're number <laughs> one masters in your division. I'm around there. Mm. I might be number two now. Um global ranks all you guys have to do is look at sc2ranks.com so yep <clears throat> i play a lot with with random lately it's cool. been kind of fun just to uh, relax what <laughs> uh, what other players are what actually what other streams do you like to watch what what kind of stuff do you do you watch any streams or do you just yeah i actually i really enjoy cats uh -huh. and drubies streams drubies is really fun I think it's my favorite, <laughs> as weird as that is. I just I really enjoy watching him macro. He's such yeah, a great he, macro. Yeah, he'll Taren. do some off the wall sometimes too. He's just like, okay, I want to make some BCs this game before it even starts. <laughs> I like watching Drewby and Cats too. Exactly. For for different reasons, Cats of course likes to sing to his viewers <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah, I love Cats. I would watch Moonglade if he streamed more. Um, Moonglade is in Korea now. That's going to be exciting. Yeah, and he's going to the world finals for IEM, so that'll be a cool too. Um, someone asks, Indeed. what do you do when you random Terran? If I'm versus the Zerg, I go two barracks. If I versus the Terran, I generally try and cheese <laughs> because I don't like that matchup. And if I play versus the Protoss, I generally try and play a macro game because I, I like PvT yeah, as a matchup. I, like, I think I like it's pretty PvT fun. A lot. Um, it's kind of one-sided last week, though. But uh, that's <laughs> poor Jubi. I revenge Someone asks Jubi. favorite yes. Korean player. <laughs> Do you have one? Uh as weird as it is, I I really want to say Savior, despite oh, him being no, a horrible person. Jail. Or is he in jail? <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. He's a horrible person, but like he gave me hope for the Zerg race. I was like, Savior, yes, you can finally beat a Terran. You're using <laughs> Defilers. I love it. And. uh so despite him being a an idiot, what I about, still love uh, his play. Starcraft two Korean player. Uh, Nestine Fruit Dealer are amazing. Love watching them. Their baneling bombs and putting banelings and overlords are so so uh, innovative and yeah, it's it's all yeah, great. Are play. you gonna watch I the GSL watching finals it. tonight? In four hours? Nope. I I have I have oh, zero interest in Terran get versus Terran. So get to see how happy they get and jump around and stuff. And kiss a trophy. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> I guess that's true. I I do love yeah, watching Artosis yeah, and Tasteless commentate. They're awesome. Someone asks, 
What's the process for pro gamers coming up with new strategies or builds uh, that goes on? Do you build order it, trial and error, etc.? Tonight we really saw in general that a slightly delayed hatch allows bigger macro via earlier Protoss harass. How would you come up with that? I don't know. It's kind of a vague question, but get the gist. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I I really like that build order because when people try and put a pylon in, in your natural, you, you can't really expand until a pretty long time. So I really like to do uh, that because it gives me, like, I have around 300 minerals after I've killed that first pylon. So it's like a, a mixture way to get that hatchery up at a good timing so I can have a pretty standard build. And Noni did a really good job actually defending those first six slings. I've gotten a lot of kills off of just killing that zealot and then killing one one or two probes, which surprisingly is is a huge deal that early in the game. Um, so. Wow, now we're just getting really kind of out of left field questions. Uh, do you have any strats for Zerg on Brood War? <laughs> when do you six pool, if ever? And what do you think of fake Baneling bombs? Is it ever a good idea? <laughs> uh, I haven't played Brood War in a while. I'm not going to go back nice. despite being invited to a Brood War tournament, which was pretty cool. Gotta love uh, game. Uh, when do I ever six pool? <laughs> I liked Idra's weird build on Jungle Basin against uh, Jinro. If only he wouldn't have yeah. screwed that micro against that one 5 HP Marine. It would have been so amazing. Um, but other than that, I don't usually six pool because I think it's 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 the stupidest way to win, to be quite honest. Blizzard should either fix it, like as, as weird as that is to say, or just... I, I don't know. I don't like any sort of really early cheese yeah. because it... It just bothers me. The last one is, and then, what, what do you was think the last about question? fake sorry, baneling bombs? Is it ever a good idea? And I guess he means sending mass overlords over an opponent's mineral line, which that I've never oh, seen that done. Yeah. At least I'll say it. it. It's a fun thing to do. Like, worst Protoss, when they kind of move out, just, just send, like, eight speed overlords into their base and see if they run the whole army back to deal with it and then run them out and, like, oh, <laughs> faked you out. But, uh... I don't know. That's the only option I really like to do with that. I mean, I'll bring overlords to attack sometimes. But I'm sure I'll win or to yeah. soak damage. If I have extra overlords, maybe. Um, are know. you feeling a little tipsy from the beer? Nope. I I really haven't drinking that much beer, which I I really yeah. want to correct. So once we're done with this, and on I will that note, an, another I think beer. That was a very very lovely interview, Chef. Thank you. Ah, well, thank you, man. I appreciated it. And all you lovely people listening, so cool. Yeah, Thank you so and much. I think we had around 700 viewers or so for that, and I'll go ahead and get this interview on YouTube and Ustream so more people can watch. Oh, thank I you very you much, Josh. I think you some new fans today, it. too. Some people honestly said they never heard of you, and I was like, what, are you crazy? But now they know. <laughs> I, I was so happy because on, on Team Liquid, like if you read the first few pages, everything's like, I like yeah. Chef, but he is going to get 4 0 It's like, I man, like Chef, Chef best Zerg in the world, Noni wins. I'm like, what is happening here? And actually, I'll, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna so. bring uh, the Complexity Gaming owner into this a little bit. He said, I think Tyler will thrash Chef. And I said, it's a good thing I do the inviting then, because Chef is going to either win or make a very, very good argument for himself. So... I'm glad that you were able to prove him wrong at least and continue on into next week. I'll try and get you a really, really good opponent for some really, really exciting games. Just keep up your practice, and I'll see you uh, next Friday. See you, man. Thank you very much.